The Kizilelma is the latest member of the Baracta drone series by Baker Technology. The design was first revealed to the public in July 2021. The program was previously known as New Hope Sansa's UCAC Sistemi, Myas, Unmanned Combat Aircraft System. The name Kizilelma, Red Apple in Turkish, was announced in March 2022. The concept of Red Apple is important in Turkish tradition, symbolizing an idea or ultimate goal for the nation or state. The name, therefore, has a special meaning, manifesting the significance of this challenging project for the company and for Turkey. The Kizilelma is an armed drone, powered by a single turbofan engine. The aircraft has delta wing and canard configuration. The small forewings, canards, are mounted forward of the main wings, which have triangular shape. The overall geometry of the airframe is consistent with contemporary stealth aircraft design, with minimum protrusions and body angles, seemingly optimized for decreasing the radar cross-section RCS. It can be assumed that the airframe coating and the paint will be of radar-absorbing material RAM, for better stealth. According to technical specifications shared by Baker Technology, the Kizilelma will be able to remain airborne for 5 hours, and will have an operational ceiling of 35,000 feet. The maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft will be 6 tons, with a payload capacity of 1.5 tons. The maximum combat radius, which is the maximum distance from its base the Kizilelma can cover to perform combat missions, is stated as 500 nm. The Kizilelma will have an internal weapons bay to carry precision-guided missiles and bombs, a feature that further contributes to the aircraft's stealth characteristics. Although the images and videos released by Baker Technology do not show any hard points under the wings for carrying weapons or other systems, their presence is highly possible. The Turkish defense industry offers a wide range of precision-guided weapon systems for the Kizilelma. Among them are the Song-J air-to-surface cruise missile, the HGK, the LGK, the Minuta bomber, MB, Tiber and Lassen precision-guided bombs, Kakar air-launched anti-ship missile, and Gokdoan and Bozdoan air-to-air missiles. The main sensor of the Kizilelma is planned to be an active electronically scanned array, ESA, radar system, currently being developed by Aselsan, as well as advanced electro-optical cameras and electronic warfare systems. Baker Technology presents fully automatic takeoff and landing, and beyond line of sight, blows, data link capability is among the Kizilelma's capabilities. The Kizilelma's also claim to be aircraft carrier compatible, being able to perform takeoff and landing operations from short flight decks. Recent advances in sensors, electronics, and artificial intelligence AI, have made it possible to design and manufacture more sophisticated drones, equipped with multiple sensors, and assessing more autonomy during flight. Since the early 2000s, larger drones powered by jet engines and capable of carrying precision-guided weapon systems, have begun appearing. The emergence of unmanned combat aircraft systems UCAS, stimulated a debate among aerospace and defense circles, as well as security planners and decision-makers on the future of air power. The technological developments have begun to indicate the coming of fully autonomous combat aircraft that can undertake various high-risk missions, thereby largely eliminating the necessity of piloted aircraft if not fully eliminating this need in the not-too-distant future. One of the most heated debate topics on the future of air warfare is the composition of the combat air power of air forces, whether or not to switch to an all-UCAS structure or a combination of manned and unmanned platforms, and in the case of the latter the nature of the composition. There are three different ideas on the role of UCAS in the future of air power. The first is an all-UCAS air force, where air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions are undertaken by a single or various types of combat drones. The air-to-air -air missions include combat air patrol CAP, interception of enemy aircraft, and the escort of friendly air sea, or land assets against air threats.
air-to-ground missions can be listed as close air support of friendly ground units, precision strikes, standoff strike of high-value targets, HVT, tactical air support of maritime operations, TASMO, suppression of enemy air defenses, SEED, and destruction of enemy air defenses. Armed drones so far have been exclusively used for air-to-ground missions, in addition to intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance ISTA. Air-to-air -air warfare requires agility, speed, and maneuverability, which are achieved through aerodynamic design and high-performance engines. Furthermore, aerial warfare, especially within visual range WVR, combat, also known as dogfighting, requires instantaneous decision-making and reaction skills, as well as full situational awareness. These requirements put a heavy load on the sensors and computing systems of a drone. The software and hardware technology are promising in terms of providing effective solutions to these cognitive challenges, but the decision-making cycle and the delegation of authority to a fully autonomous system in air-to-air -air combat is the subject of a complex ethical, hierarchical, and organizational debate, rather than a technological issue. The second school of thought regarding the future of air power is creating a mixture of staffed and unmanned systems, deploying drones for high-risk missions such as seed slash dead, electronic warfare, and precision strike of HVTs from standoff ranges. In this approach, known as manned unmanned teaming MUMTE, the most prominent scheme is to use a number of UCAS under the leadership of a piloted combat aircraft. The UCAS deployed in this model is named a loyal wingman. A drone with enough flight performance to accompany fighters and the intelligence needed to semi-autonomously support them, can be described as a loyal wingman. There are several loyal wingmen development projects in the world, such as the Kratos XQ-58A Valkyrie, Boeing MQ-28, and Sukhoi S-70 Akopnik. The third approach is the incremental takeover of combat missions by UCAS. This argument can be considered as the middle ground between the previous two concepts. While it is true that building up a fully drone-based air force is more of an organizational, ethical, and doctrinal problem, it may indeed be an eventuality. UCAS are already suited for the majority of air-to-ground missions, while optimizing them with air-to-air -air combat will require more research on AI and well-defined operational concepts, as well as legal and ethical frameworks.